Hello everyone! Today we're gonna make the body for our little turtle. You are gonna get an A4 size paper that looks like this and you have to put the head right on top and draw an oval for the body. Make sure that the oval is not too too big or too too small. You have to leave a space here for the legs and for the arms too. Okay, now that you have the head in place, hold it with one hand and draw the neck and a little bit of his shoulder and a line that looks like this. Then do the part for the arms like this and then finish the oval like this using the lines that you already drew before. Okay, now it's time for you to do the legs. I just decided to have one hand up and one down. And this part here. Okay, now you're ready to draw the legs. So you have the spacer. So I like to have the legs like the skinnier and then it gets a little bit farther at the end. And now you can draw the clothes. Okay, and remember that this is only the front of the turtle and then the shell should be at the back. So you're just going to draw a bigger oval behind. And now that you're ready, you can trace all the pencil lines with a Sharpie marker or a permanent marker. It should look like this. But if you want to have your turtle facing to the front like the, another perspective, another view, you can just do it this way. You have to take your paper horizontally, place the head that you already did kind of in the middle of the paper and then draw a big, big arch. And now you're gonna do the bottom part it's not a straight line, it's a little bit curvy, like this. And now you are ready to do the legs. I think this is much easier than the other one, but you can choose any view you want, okay? It can be even sideways if you want to. Okay, and now that you're ready, you can trace all the pencil lines with your permanent marker. To trace this big, big arch, it's, I think it's easier to turn the paper and make sure that your hand can do the job, can move and then make a nice, nice semicircle here. Okay, and this is the front view of the turtle and this is the front view too, but it's standing up like a human. Okay, and now you are ready to color the body. Make sure that you use the same pattern or the same texture of the face that you use in the face for the body as well. So I'm just gonna draw all those circles on the legs and then start coloring. Okay, and remember last class when we learned how to shade cylinders. So you're gonna do the same thing here. Please make sure that you take another shade of the same color you're using and then you're gonna press harder on the edges and then go lighter as you go to the middle of the leg. So then you're gonna get this 3D effect. You have to do it right here too because you have the tummy on top of the leg. Okay, now I am ready to decorate the tummy and I'm just gonna make lines like this, but hey, you can do whatever you want. I chose to use different values of brown but you can of course use any color if you want to have your turtle look like a rainbow turtle that's okay it doesn't matter and i use the same effect here of pressing harder on the edges the same way that i did 
with the cylinder, remember? Just to have that 3D effect. And now I'm just coloring this shell that I can see just a little bit there. Okay, now my turtle looks ready. This is how he should look like if he has the head and then you can just glue the head the way you want it later. We're just gonna cut the body first and remember when you cut, just leave that white space there, okay? It doesn't matter, you don't need to cut it on top of the black line because that will be very hard. Okay, for my other total, I just uh, drew diagonal lines, one way and the other way. But you can have any pattern you want in your total, okay? This is just a sample. Okay, now I'm using those lines that I made as a reference because I'm going to make little squares here, not touching that reference line that I made. I just want that space in between. I also added a circles inside and now I'm ready to color in. I just used darker green for the circles and lighter green for this space between the squares and brown and remember, you can have your own pattern, you can have your own colors, the colors you want, whatever, it's okay. And of course, I am shading a little bit to make it look a little bit more 3D and it looks more professional. Okay, and now I'm ready with my second design. I just need to cut it and it should look like this. And the other one, it looks like this. Okay, we're gonna continue next class. Uh, keep all these pieces because we are gonna work on the background. Bye!